All right. Um, greetings once again, Dr. Inichi Waribo Paulson here, um, discussing the course Religion, Culture, and Gender in Africa. Um, for this fourth series, we'll be looking at religion and gender in Africa. And you will agree with me that um, in Africa, um, a great deal of religions are practiced. Then the dominant ones are Christianity, Islam, and um, African traditional religion, even though other world religions are also practiced in Africa. So most religions, or all of the religions practiced in Africa, or major religions practiced in Africa, are patriarchal. Patriarchal in the sense that um, they recognize and uphold um, the leadership of men and somehow silence women. You know, we start with um, a discussion on the gender of divinity. It is generally believed, even without thinking, that God, the supreme being, or the supreme deity, is male. And that has made some men think that, okay, if God is male, then the masculine or uh, the male gender is superior to female, you know, without even recourse to the fact that the mother of God, like uh, Christians hold, especially in the Catholic Church, is woman. So it is even a woman that birthed, you know, um, Jesus, who is also born. You know, um, in the strict sense of motherhood, actually, you know, and then um, people know by its belief that God is a spirit, and spirits are sexless and uh, genderless, and there are places, you know, um, the attributes of God suggest this feminine. There are feminine attributes of God, there are masculine attributes of God, you know, but then men hold tenaciously to the fact that it's Male, and these are some of the things, you know, the issues, um, religious issues in gender studies. And then you see the level of participation in religion where you have more women, most times, especially in Christianity, you know, participating in religious activities. But then you have the men as leaders, you know, and this has made, uh, you know, um, this has led to. Um, Escalation of um, escalation now, you know, it has led to many breakaway groups, women fellowships coming up, and all of that. Okay, so you find out that women are usually not given that opportunity because of their sex, because of their gender. They are not given that opportunity to, uh, you know, uh, express. Yeah, there yeah, are gifts also, the divine gifts and their calling. Then um, the scripture and tradition content of um, just scriptures or even religious traditions, the content also, if you look at it critically, you find out that it appears it um, supports the men, men or the masculine gender more and um, um, not the women. And then we have all manner of contemporary practices of religion where um, women are beginning to rear their heads up in religion. We find out that in such churches, you see only women and just a few men, especially where um, women are coming up as um, church leaders. And then language in religion doesn't even appear to be equals to women. Um, for instance, the biblical language, especially the original English language that the um, Bible was translated into hardly has anything to do with man. In fact, even the biblical culture, the background culture of the Bible, where they talk about 5,000 men, excluding women and children, you see that women are, are made of less you know, um, importance, you know, and that is why they are not even counted in the first place. And then it's not um, out of place to hear um, preachers today talk about Men, uh, in, you know, in in generic form, they use the men, um, you know, to refer to humans. So um, there's no um, inclusion in gender language in religion, for instance. 
this series, men, this, men, that, and all of that, just like it is in some religious tradition. Then women feel left out in some of these. So um, in all, it, it appears that um, women also feel you know, marginalized and um, suppressed, and even in religion, in, uh, it has continued to endure contemporary times. Okay, so um, next series will be on gender expression and social. Seven to up for that series. But before then, please like our videos and share. Thank you and God bless you.